Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. We lived in an area in Dallas where there was a lot of people from different Jamaats, mm -hmm. people who you like to go out and, and they would go out for on trips from three days to 40 days, to right. four months. They, they would do these things and they were always inviting and they had a lot of power yeah. within this community. Yeah, so, the league. Yes, yes. yes. So, so. It's, it's the same everywhere, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, even in, in Toronto, it's the same thing. It's the same, yeah. you know? <laughs> Jamaat Tablik was the one that showed me that there were different groups in Islam. I didn't know what Tablik Jamaat was when I became Muslim. Really? A lie, yeah, because I didn't know there were, I, when I became Muslim, I didn't know there were different groups. You know, I became wow. Muslim. I, I, I became Muslim. And we were just Muslims, <laughs> you know what I right, mean? Right, right. It wasn't until like the Pakistanis started coming and, you know, like then, then they started building their own massage because we all used to pray in one mosque. All the groups, like like the Egyptians, the okay. Sudanese, we used to, and this is in Toronto. In those days, there was like maybe two or two, two massage. Right. And I was young. I was a kid back then. I was like 15 years old mm -hmm. when I was converted. Mm -hmm. Right. And we were just Muslim. Mm -hmm. And then they built a mosque Mashallah. mosque in Brampton. And I was told it was a Tablighi mosque. And what's a Tablighi? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm like, what? What is that? What is that thing? <laughs> what are you talking about? Right. I didn't know anything about Sunni Shia. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. You know? Yeah. But now we, de right. we definitely know. Right. We definitely know because that that is some hard yeah, absolutely. They're there's some hardcore hizbis, man. They're like they are like yes. very, very partisan. It, it's right. it's wide open, bro. It, oh, it, yeah. It's there. Mm -hmm. It's there. Yeah. And you see it. Yeah, you of course. See it. You see it. And, 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 you know, a lot of times, unfortunately, we can't pull back. Mm -hmm. It's hard to pull back. Even the people who are into Tablik, I don't care whatever group you have. Mm -hmm. It's hard for people to pull back and not be fanatical. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's so hard. I mean, not to get involved, but I've always been the type of person, you know, that that proceeded with caution. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you have to proceed with, with caution. caution. Yeah. On things that you do. Yeah. So so you know, like I said, we started learning, and then there was a brother who actually made a suggestion. He said, "Hey, man, uh, the people are they're going up to this camp in Yemen." Mm. And they're staying there for years and they're learning things, brother. They're, they're, they're learning things, coming back with a strong foundation, mm. their, their, their understanding, uh, their Arabic, you know, their, their fiqh, their usul, their hadith, and kather wa kather, illa, illa akhir, to the end of it. To the end of it, yeah. So um, you, you, the, the brother said, man, we need to do it. Mm. So in, in early 2000, we did it. Mm, that's all. You know, I, I, I packed my family up. He packed his family up, and we went to Yemen. <laughs> and, in and early two thousand, so Sheikh Mufthor Himalo, he was still alive then, right? It was. It was right at. He had just died, bro. Oh, you he, just he, missed he, him. He had just died, yeah, and then yeah. at the time, hmm. it was kind of hard to to get up to the to the to the camp. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you had to they they you had to actually get somebody that knew an an alternate route to yeah, get there yeah. you know that had a a big enough uh, hafila to get you yeah. and your family and maybe another family up there mm -hmm. I mean it was it was so when we first got there it was hard to uh, it was hard to maneuver mm -hmm. it was hard to yeah. maneuver just just to give the people some background right? yeah go ahead about uh, Yemen the reason why it was difficult. All right. If you understand the demographic of Yemen, is that the uh, shurta, the what do you say shurta? Shurta, the police. The, is it is it like the police? That like I mean, I mean, yeah. Okay, you can say the police, right? It's like yeah, it, is, it is police. Omni, it is Omni police. Omni yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, exactly, right. So when you enter the airport in Sana, right, the police in Sana are Shia. Yes. Right. And if they know that you're going to the north in the match, because Sheikh Mukbo Rahimullah, Rahimullah. He, he was in the heart of 
the Zaydi Shia land, which happened to be Sa'ada. That's in the north of Yemen. Sana'a is in central Yemen, right? And Sana'a is also the, the main airport for Yemen, right? And because the Shia are the security forces in, uh, in that region, if they know that you're going to the north, they will turn your black behind back on that plane <laughs> and send you right back <laughs> wherever your black behind came from. <laughs> they would, they would. Right? They would. And that's, yeah. that's why you have to sneak, right? Because they will arrest you, right? They will arrest you if, if, you, if, if they catch you, right? Because you're going into Shia territory and Sheikh Mokor Himalai is Salafi, right? And his dawa, you know, was very strong. A lot of the Shia wow. became Abu Sunnah because of because of his dawa, right? And um, so, what we—I don't know if you did this, but I, I did it personally. I went through Aden. No, I didn't. We no. You didn't, didn't go through Aden. Way. You went no. through, directly through Sana. Yeah. And you got through. Yes. Okay, mashallah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But my friends who went with me. Right, he uh, he, he went before actually. He went to try, he tried to go to Sana and they mm -hmm. shipped them right back to Canada. Yeah, yeah, we, they shipped we, them right we, back. So, we, so happened, we went together through Adam. Oh, okay, yeah, it, 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 there was a point, there was a point, it was brief. Yeah, there was a point where people were being able when you were able to make that trip, but. Yeah. Unfortunately, the brother, I think his some his son, uh, uh, it, it was a guy from um, Ohio. We were tight. His mm. son got sick and we had to come right back. Mm. So we really didn't get the chance to really stay up there. And then what happened is the the uh, the the Harba Madania started. It was the yeah, yeah. it was the start of it, you know, the, yeah. the of the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you know, you would see these people gathering in the mornings after you come back from the Salat, uh, the, the Fajr, you would see these people gathering with their little jambias. They always wore the jambia. The jambia, yeah. The jambias so, are like a so, sword, by the way. Like, not like a sword. sword. It's, like, yeah. it's like a dagger. A little dirty, dagger, yeah. It's like a long, long, like... It's like, like a curved, dagger. like, yeah, curved, yeah. curved curve dagger. dagger. Yeah, yeah. So, so <laughs> that you started, I started to see them out there they had their jambias as usual mm -hmm. that was adi that was adi mm -hmm. but then they also started to bring out their 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 ak's mm -hmm. so yeah. i'm like what's going on yeah so now you're hearing a little talk on the street what's you know what's going on so i they, they were everything was the information was coming from up north yeah and it was filtering down to sana you know mm -hmm. where people were trying to find out what's going on and then you know, because it's tribal, it's very tribal, even in the most uh, metropolitan areas, which are not that metropolitan, but even the most uh, 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 technical, the advanced areas or the fastest area, or, or they would, they would uh, still have the, uh, a strong influence of the, the tribes. Yeah. Of the, the, the Kabai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You would still feel it strong presence of that yeah so um you you seen these people started to arm up on the streets yeah so i said man we got to get out of here so uh me and the brother who was from ohio we jumped on the plane real quick and then we landed a couple hours later we and we landed in uh Misr in egypt, egypt yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so um and we ended up staying there for the duration of the time that we were overseas alhamdulillah mm -hmm. it was it was it, and, 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 and in retrospect, when I look back, I would have loved to go to Egypt first. Really? Yeah. Because you get a, a better foundation, you know, the, to, to learn Arabic in, um, in, 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 in Yemen was tough. Mm -mm. Because not many of the people were used or had any contact with people from the, the West. West yeah. Okay, so you went really early then. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but the people in 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 um, Egypt, mm -hmm. they've had centuries of contact with yeah. people from the West. Yes, of course. You know, yeah. and, and and from people coming over there specifically and exclusively to learn Dean, they've yeah. had contact with that for for at least two centuries. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least two centuries. Mm -hmm. So that was that was the difference. And then you know, so I we learned, and then. Um, 
uh, this was a time when the um, when when Muslims were on the radar. Mm. You know, Muslims were on the radar. Yeah. So, um, you know, one of the things, one of the strangest things that happened to me uh, when I, they, they, I, they got word to me in uh, in Egypt. They said, "Hey, we want you to come down to the embassy to talk to us." Mm. The 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 uh, American embassy wanted me to come down to talk to them. So I went down there. I asked my friend from uh, from Ohio. I said, come, "Come with me, man, just in case you can tell my family what's happening." They take me in there, I, I, and, I, and I come to find out this was because I was ex-military. Mm-hmm. And um, they took me down there. There was a guy from Jordan. Now, we're in Egypt, downtown Egypt, yeah. in, in the embassy, the American. There was a guy from Jordan. There was a guy, for, in, in, an American, and there was a Palestinian, and there was a lady. Mm-hmm. There were four people down there, you know, to talk to me. So yeah. I'm like, okay. They said, Mr. Biddy, why'd you come over here? I said, I just want to learn, trying to learn Arabic. Yeah, you know, yeah. is there anything wrong with that? Did I do anything wrong? Yeah. And they said, no, no, we just want to know, you know. And so they said, well, um, you know, back in two, back in two thousand, I think it's two thousand some, mm-hmm. early two thousand. They said, yeah, we have a, a server that that you sent. To, we have uh, we. Ex- extracted data from a server that you sent an email to uh, uh, Anwar Al-Awlaki. Where you- <laughs> now, now, it was, it was yeah. true. It was yeah. true. Yeah, but, he, about- but this is before, this was whole, before his whole, prison time. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah, before yeah. it. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I wrote him on his site, I, on his site, yeah. I said, hey, man, where did you, where would you advise a person to go study? study. Yeah, and, yeah. And you go, if I'm going to Yemen, where would you advise? But then about maybe, as, maybe a year later, about six, seven months later, it, it was, he he was you know arch enemy number one. Yeah, and it was yeah, yeah. right. It was right after PBS special where they actually talked to him and they were nice to him and and everything where they did that special on him or mm-hmm. sixty minutes special. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, ma'am, I did that before this whole thing. Mm-hmm. So the 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 the, the uh, they they start to try to mix it up as far as the questioning so mm-hmm. I, I, they they said well are you over here to do anything uh that, you know bad do you you want to do anything bad i said no mm-hmm. i said they said are, are you sure they kept mm-hmm. kind of badgering me that and i yeah. said well the only thing i can do you know right here right now is i can bite you and i start biting that down <laughs> <laughs> the, the jordanian guy got so mad man really <laughs> He was like, he, he was, his face was red, man. I'm, <laughs> What's wrong with you? But it was funny. So, you know, I, I left and, um, you know, we, we continued, we stayed there for about almost uh, two years. Uh, mm. went, I studied at the Fudger Center mm. and uh, I would go down uh, on the, on the, the weekends, we would go to uh, Sheikh Orislan's. Monocle. Oh really, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. how many that yeah. out of me? Mashallah, really. I like I like him, and he's a he's a great uh, khatib. Man. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, very inspiring. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get some yeah. high power. So, yeah, that was my that that is, you know, how I came to Dean. So after I, one of my first run-ins with uh, with this kind of racism thing. Mm-hmm. It was when I got back from Egypt, um, there was a uh, young man who was v- very, very new at the time, mm. uh, very fresh. And uh, he, he was he was out there to, as far as Arabic is concerned. Mm. So he opened up a um, institute in um, Dallas, in Irving, Texas. Mm. So I was living there. I moved when I came back, I went there. And uh, the institute was called El Baina. Baina. El Baina. Baina. Yeah. So he, Baina, yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, uh, uh, I was working there as a, as a uh, teacher's assistant, mm-hmm. TA, you know, just, just, just volunteering because mm-hmm. I really, I really enjoyed and I was trying to, uh, you know, to teach what I learned. Yes. Because this is the best way to solidify what you learn is yes. to teach what you know. Mm. So, I mean, I was I was there, I was putting in work and they had a lot of the brothers who had already memorized the, the Quran. A lot of the people come from 
uh, a institution called Daru Ulum in Buffalo, New York. Mm. This is a, 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 an institute for a lot of uh, uh, Pakistani Indian kids. They go there, they learn the Quran, yep. they learn some, some other things. So they have a foundation as far as they know the Quran, they've memorized yep. the Quran. Mm. And, 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 and now they're trying to go deeper into the Arabic language. Mm. So, you know, I would tell them the story of, about how, you, you know, in my neighborhood in Sana'a, <clears throat> I, I always carried a notebook. Mm. And everybody I went past, I would say, you know, Kefa Tukulu Hadha, Kefa Tukulu Hadha. <laughs> so they, 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 they started to call me, hey, there, go, there goes Abu Kefa Tukulu. Get, get out of the way. Here he comes. He's going he's gonna to Kefa Tukulu us to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kefa Tukulu. So, <laughs> yeah. By the way, Kepa Tukula, it means uh, how do you how say do you this? Say, yeah. How do you say this? <laughs> right? So, I, I mean, Kepa that Tukula. became, <laughs> in, in Yemen, that was my word, bro. That that was my phrase. Right? <laughs> Typical so, freshie, um, man. <laughs> what's that? Typical freshie. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I was green, man. I was green. Yeah. Abu Kepa Tukula, Abba. Abu Kefa Tugulu, here he comes. <laughs> so, um, so I, I told him that it's going to take work to learn. It's mm. going to take commitment for anything in, 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 you know, that you want. I mean, in Dean or Dunya, you have to be committed to it. Mm. There has to be a certain level of commitment and consistency. Mm. So, you know, that he, 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 in that program in the early days, it started, he actually uh, start them with some of the Ejurumiya, yeah, oh, which yeah. is a which is a baby you know basic yeah. grammar book great it's, basic it, it's really it, it's, it's introductory really, it's but it was still it's, it's excellent it's, it's excellent yeah. but it was still it, it was still too much for them Ejurumiya? yes wow okay <laughs> they, they weren't ready for that. they needed to understand how to put together a sentence you know, if you got, oh, it, got it's you. me. They didn't have enough words yet. They exactly. Never, you know, more, uh, yeah. Mufradat. They needed more vocabulary. The vocabulary, yeah. yeah. So um, then at, at the, at the uh, uh, you, you know, so I started to do that with them. Uh, you know, I started to, to, to really hone in and try to concentrate and, and bring them up to speed on it. So, I started going over there. How some they started inviting me to to mm. just you know so that they can get some extra time on it. Mm. So I started going, and uh, one day on a Monday, I come back to work, mm. and and um, like I said, I'm a volunteer. The the brother says, uh, the 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 person who started it, he says, uh, um, "Hey, you, you're a distraction. I don't need you here anymore." Mashallah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I was like, what did I do, man? I was like, did I, did, did, it was it me? Because, like I said, I was enjoying, I was enjoying. Yeah, it. you're doing it because you loved it. Exactly. Yeah. It's like they say, if you enjoy what you do, if you love what you do, mm. it's you, it's like you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, exactly. Man, I enjoyed that, man. Mm. You know, being there with the people, the camaraderie, mm. the, the the being around an Islamic environment. And remind the people who who was it that told you this again? This was Nukman Ali Khan. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and, 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 why, is, and why why are you distracting the people? And, yeah. and I was like, well, what what happened? You know, what's going on? So he 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 wouldn't he didn't really tell me anything. He was just said, yeah, you it, as of today, you I don't need you to come here anymore. Mm. And I was like, wow, okay, um, cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, a, a few years, about a year later, there was a couple of students that I know because they had, you know, Irving Masjid had a, uh, a, a, a it, it's a great community. They had a huge masjid. They had places where you can do archery. They had a full court basketball court inside and outside. Mm -hmm. And those two, um, those NFL brothers are, were actually the athletic directors over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the two, the twins. Mm -hmm. They actually were the athletic directors there at the time. So they had really good sports programs going on over there. And, and it was it was always a lot of fun. So I would be over there a lot mm -hmm. playing basketball. And um, uh, so 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 I ran into one of the guys who, who used to go there 
And he he was like, man, uh, I was like, yeah, man, I really enjoyed working there, man. I was I was I was hurt. He said, yeah, man, it, it, from what it seems, you know, to 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 us, it was because since we met you people 500 years ago, look at us. We've given everything you are still taking. It's true. I mean, where will the whole Western world be without be without Africa? Our cocoa, our timber, our gold, our diamonds, our platinum, our whatever. Everything you are is us. I am not saying it. It's a fact. And, and in, in return for all of this, what have we got? Nothing. Anti-personnel indoctrination against ourselves. If you go and cook your horrible diseases like AIDS, you say it is us. You brought us tuberculosis. We didn't have this big cough until white people came here. In exchange for, in exchange for Africa giving Europe 500 solid years of our people, I mean, not Europe, the Western world, of our human beings to work your canes, to dig your gold, to take in gold itself, diamond, I mean, you know, fish, peanuts, palm oil, everything. In exchange for that, we have got nothing. Nothing. And you know it. Nothing. And you look upon, you know, white folks look upon us like monkeys. It is true. It's in your literature. Hey, you know, some of your best thinkers have said this about us. Have you heard of the, I mean, all these Germans? Have you heard? Okay. Yes. <laughs> they said, Lord Burton, people like that, they said, we, we, we don't even have the brain of, of animals. That's what we've got from you people. But don't you think that this is over now? Over where? Is it over? Who said that eight came from the green monkey? 